Hey Shelby Bells, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. In today's video, we have to talk about Jeffree Star because Jeffree Star has picked up his stuff from LA, moved to Wyoming, and literally like started a farm. So we have to talk about it. If you're interested in hearing more about that drama, then make sure that you keep on watching. <laughs> as if we're seeing like the new age of Jeffree Star. So like when you think Jeffree Star, let me just open this real quick, a little ASMR, how about that? Do we like that? We like a little ASMR moment, how about that? Yes, ASMR, go off, ASMR. Who can relate when they have lip gloss on and they take a drink of their soda and they're like, Literally, like, I have to do that because, and I still get lip gloss all over the, all over the place, but whatever. Um, so Jeffree Star, we talked about it. He sold his mansion in the Hollywood Hills, girl, good $20 million mansion. It's unsold, and he is now a permanent resident of Casper, Wyoming, and it looks like he started a yak ranch. Good morning, everyone. It's time to get to it. Wake the fuck up, get to work, be inspired, do you, and if you're not doing you, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, sugar, good girl. Hi, good morning. So sweet. They're slowly trying some new treats. <laughs> Today we're doing some more grooming and some more brushing and bonding. I used to wake up and immediately jump on my phone. Like I'm saying, when my eyes opened, I would grab my phone, check every social media app. I feel so free not doing that anymore. Canceling old behaviors, evolving, growing. If you're a work in progress, congratulations. Same. <laughs> and we're going to be forever so slow and steady progress is so important always put yourself on the back remind yourself where you came from um nowadays i wake up and i meditate i do a lot of deep breathing i look at this stunning view i think about all my goals and what i want to still accomplish and uh, it feels so good So if you're just as confused as me, I was like, first of all, what's a yak? Oh, look at this. I love this little like off the shoulder moment. It's a, like a little Shein top. This top is a little crop number and it probably cost me like a good $5 on Shein or something. I have like really gross sweatpants on, which is like the perk of being a YouTuber. I look like glam and like beat on the, this part up, but then I'm wearing gross sweatpants. I still want to show you guys. So this is the shirt right here. It's like a little crop number. And you can see all my fat, but I'm just wearing my big old oversized sweatpants underneath it. I just love this. It's like such a little moment with like a little like high-waisted number. I love that. I'm all about selective skin, as you guys know. Yeah, so he has a yak farm. And I was like, what's a yak? Because <laughs> I don't know what a yak, I didn't know what a yak was. I like feel like I'd seen it somewhere before, but I looked it up. So guys, if you are also wondering what the hell a yak is, I've got you covered. A yak is a domesticated ox. <laughs> So um, it's used in certain cultures to like transport goods because they're very like beefy. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. Um, he has a yak farm. Apparently he says they're like very intelligent creatures. Oh, Jesus. 
apparently he's saying they're like very intelligent creatures and that like they know their own names and they like respond to you when you call their names and stuff and I think that's really cute um this is a really different side of Jeffree Star that we just don't really see it you guys we really don't see it so like I when I think of Jeffree Star okay you tell me in the comments down below when you think of Jeffree Star what you think of but when I think of Jeffree Star I think of glitz and glamour and Louis Vuitton and Birkin and Louboutin and you know like Gucci and Versace and like all of these like things and literally the last thing I think of when I think Jeffree Star is fucking cowboy and ranch and yak Okay, so it's really kind of interesting to me that he has gone this route to, to open up this ranch and he made it clear that Star Yak Ranch is not open to the public. So you guys leave this man alone and let him live his life. Do not go to his place. Okay, but um, it's just very interesting. And so it, I've kind of been thinking this for a while, right? So, so when he got in that accident, and he was in the back brace for a really long time. He's fully healed now. He's out of the back brace. He's living his best, riding yaks in Wyoming. But with that experience of going through this car crash and like almost dying and having your good friend also be very like beat up in the car crash and then having them go and find out that like they have, they found out they have more cancer in their body when they do end up going to the hospital for it. It's just all, all of those kind of like big, heavy, crazy things that happened to Jeffrey regarding this accident. I really think it made him take a step back and look at his life. Now, look at my ketchup and mustard here. So I'm like, okay, so I'm not going to sit here and defend this man and say that everything he did in the past and the reason that I was boycotting him is like still like is like not true anymore and like take back everything I ever said about Jeffrey because because I still truly do believe the things that I said. But I think that people can change and I think that when serious traumatic things happen to people, they go through things and, and it makes them think about life and it different way and I think that what this whole past few years that Jeffrey's been through I think that what that's done for him is make him look at life in a different way and make him appreciate a different thing than than what he has because you know when he was first brought into all of this super like mega wealth and like fame he was just like spending 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 let me show out let me show off and now it's like he did a complete 180. I mean, not completely because he's still wearing Louis Vuitton. He's still doing all the things. He still has the Rolls and the Bentleys and all the cool cars and all the things. But as far as his like day-to-day -day lifestyle goes, he's like living a much calmer, quieter life. Um, in the clip that I showed you guys, he said that he doesn't get up and check social media first thing in the morning. Well, I'm telling you what, that must be a very freeing feeling because literally the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is check my social media. The very first, you want to know the first thing I do every single morning when I wake up. The first thing I do every single morning when I wake up is open up my YouTube studio app on my phone and look at my YouTube stuff and look at my view counts and look at my subscriber counts and look at my analytics from a brief standpoint of which I can on my cell phone. And I know that's not probably the healthiest thing that for me to do. You guys are crooked. It really like, I mean, that's what I do, right? And then after that, what do I do? I check Instagram. What do I do after that? I check Twitter. Did some major drama go down that I have to film on? Like, right away like that's what I do when I wake up so I like if and if I didn't have to do that oh my god how freeing is would that feel you know what I'm saying um it, it's just it's it's interesting the change that we're seeing in Jeffrey. And I always say that I'm never going to just like say that someone's completely different now just because they said it in a video. No, you're going to have to prove it to me consistently over time through your actions and your lifestyle. And all I can say is that from the things I've seen from Jeffrey so far, at least for me, and your opinions can be different on this in the comment section down below. I'm totally open to hearing opposing opinions on this. I feel like he's starting to change and that his the way that he views life at least is a little bit different than maybe the Jeffrey that we knew back a couple years ago. And that's just my opinion all day long. And if you don't agree with that opinion and you want to leave me a little hate comment, that's okay. Make sure you leave a little dislike before you leave too, sis. Okay? It's just it's just what I think all day long, you guys. I mean, I it's insane. Like I would have never thought Jeffrey Lynn Star <laughs> to be a cowboy. And he's wearing full on cowboy boots and all these Instagram pictures in the middle of nowhere, girl, with like nothing but grass and yaks around him. Like, oh my God. Like, I never thought he's, and he's raising, he's growing his own food. Like, that is insane to me because 
Okay. Now, he might have workers doing all the actual planting and all the actual, like, stuff. But farming in the ranch gig is not a clean job, honey, okay? There's, like, poop from all the animals and stuff. You gotta clean up and shovel and stuff. And then animals like that, they just stink anyway, girl. And then, like, the way they eat and stuff. I mean, they're, it's not a clean job, okay? And then farming and plants in general is not a clean job. My best friend, Zach, is super into plants and love him so much. I mean, he's great at taking care of them. One of the main reasons I can't be a plant, a huge plant mom, is because of the dirt. And like getting all, and the, I have nails. I can't get dirt in my nails, you guys. Are you kidding me? So, I mean, and Jeffrey doesn't have his nails anymore, so maybe he's out there digging in the grass, planting the seeds and stuff. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Jeffrey's out there planting the seeds for all his vegetables and stuff and stuff? It, it, wouldn't that be so cute if he was? That's the kind of content that I wanna see. I wanna see Jeffrey's our plant daddy planting all of his seeds and watching his stuff grow and then making food with his vegetables he grew. That would be so iconic. And I have an idea for Jeffrey. Jeffrey Star, if you want to wish yourself luck and prosperity in the new year of 2022, then you need to plant yourself some cabbage, okay? Plant yourself some cabbage and eating cabbage on New Year's Eve is supposed to be good luck. So you can plant yourself your own little cabbage and then you can eat your cabbage on New Year's Eve and it'll be good luck and good fortune in 2022 and you'll have the best year yet that literally is something that I've always wanted to do I've been saying that for years and years and years with Zach we need to plant our own cabbage and we need to make cabbage and he always says we're going to but we never do and I keep telling him well why do you think our lives still suck <laughs> anyway that's all I have for you guys in today's video let me know about what you think about Jeffree Star and his yaks in the comment section down below do you do you like farmer Jeffree or do you miss like Gucci Gucci Louis Louis Fendi Fendi Prada um Jeffree with the you know, excessiveness, the LA style Jeffree Star. Let me know in the comments down below which Jeffree you prefer and how you're feeling about this new Jeffree that we're seeing because it's a little bit like crazy and I'm kind of shook. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all of my future videos when they do post. And you can follow me on all my social media at Beauty by Shelby. That's S-H-E-L-B-Y-E. All at Beauty by Shelby. I'll leave that right up there on the screen for you so you can see it. If you're enjoying the Beauty by Shelby vibes and want to see more, then YouTube should be suggesting a couple videos down below for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. But if you're just here to catch up on the Jeffree Star yet, drama then that's totally cool too girl appreciate your view love you so i'll see you guys on wednesday night for the live stream 8 p.m central time and yeah guys um don't forget all shelby bells ring the bell <laughs> bye guys